In this Adobe After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning to make this Star Wars effect and we'll be using it as a background. So let me first click on this button so that we'll create a composition. Let me call this Star Wars and you can see that we have 9020 by 1080 resolution. That is fine and I'll hit OK. So the next thing is to add a background. To do that, I'll click on Layer and from New, I'll click on Solid. Let me call it Background. So we'll have to change the background from white to black, something like this and hit OK. Now we have the background sorted. Next thing is to add stars onto the top. To do that, I'll click on layer and from new, I'll click on solid again. And this time I'll change the color from black to white. And then let me call this stars. So we'll be generating this effect completely inside After Effects. So I'll go to the effects and presets panel and type in CC star burst. So you have this CC star burst effect and I'll drag this onto the solid. If I start playing, you can see that it will look something like this, but we'll have to tweak the settings. So I'll set the grid spacing to around six. I'll set the size to around 50, right? I'll reduce it by half. And then I'll change the scatter value from 100 to 250. And I'll change the face to at least one degree just like this. And if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how it is going to look. In addition to this, we'll have to add some trails to each one of the star as if it is coming towards the camera. To do that, I'll go to the effects panel and type in echo. And I'll drag the echo effect onto our solid. Here, I'll change the echo from minus 0.03 to minus 0.01. I'll set the number of echoes close to 50 and if I start playing you can see that it will look something like this but the decay is a bit too much so I'll set the decay value to around 0.8 perfect so if I start playing the video you can see that this is how the Star Wars effect is going to look and that is exactly what we need Adobe After Effects is all about creativity you can use different properties available in the effects and generate the animation as per your requirement. I hope you found this video helpful. And if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and see you guys next time with another tutorial.